simply isn't enough. Just two buckets of fresh water, 40 litres a day to the in aid each of Valu, which is in danger of running out of drinking water. Drinking water is now being provided by desalination plants, working around the clock to turn seawater into fresh water. Just before I left to come to this conference, my government had declared a state of emergency because we were suffering the worst droughts in recorded history. The ration is for 40 litres for each household, no matter how many people are living there. Some households have 20 people in them, and the international standard says they expect people to have 15 litres of water a day. There's no well, so we just rely on uh, the tanks. We use seawater for our toilets, flushing the toilet, for cooking sometimes. We just boil things that we can boil with seawater of water and the hospital which ran out of water instantly yesterday and was able to be replenished by the by desalination unit which was delivered on Monday. And Football is the number one sport here and it's important because it brings people together. I think if there's not much water we can't do much. We don't want people to die on the field running around without any water to hydrate them. And because it's a drought, no everyone don't wanna just don't wanna come with a bucket of water. So each and everyone come with a small bottle of water and they don't even wanna share. In a sense, they are the canaries in the global coal mine of climate change. If we were using the flushing toilet, we would have run out of water long, long before the um, state of emergency was uh, declared. This was a clear warning that we are already suffering from the adverse impacts of climate change. On the 12th of November, the drought was broken. But foremost in the minds of Tuvaluans was the need to conserve water. Since we've been using the uh, compost toilet, I think we have saved about 70% uh, of the, um, the water we used to use. Instead of you flushing the toilet, press the button, yeah, you, you just like, get uh, at least a heap of uh, leaves and then you, you throw it inside. It has to be like 70% of dry and 30% of green leaves so that it can actually work together. But you still use the toilet paper too, <laughs> not the lips. <laughs> this self-composting toilet and nine others like it are an initiative of integrated water resource management and the Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change Project, a regional project working in 14 Pacific Island countries. In Tuvalu, PAC aims to demonstrate water conservation and raise awareness of water hygiene issues in the community of Lofengai. Lofengai is the most furthest away village to the place where most water has been delivered and they don't have community reserves that will assist them in times of troubles when their household level runs low. I purchase water four or five times a year. They fill up my tanks when I pay for the water. If I don't pay, they don't. It will cost us about $50 to get the truck and the water. It depends on the, the long list of uh, people who have bought water and uh, hired the, uh, the truck. So it will take about three, four, five days before the truck turns up and fills the, uh, the water tank. In order to create local water reserves, gutters are being added to the roof of a large chapel. To store the new rainwater catchment, a reservoir will be built in the chapel's backyard. In the meantime, the gutters are being connected to water tanks. When rain comes, there's, the water just falls into the ground, so PAC thought that that is a good opportunity for us to upgrade that uh, harvesting system whereby we can collect more water. And we're looking at guttering the whole chapel and, and collect those water into the major reserve that PAC is looking at uh, developing. It is hoped that the chapel's high visibility amongst the community 
will inspire people to maximise water catchment at home. Some of the tanks are just laying around, not connected to some of the houses. See, these are the things that PAC are trying to advocate. In order to get the full amount of rain, you have to get 100% gutters, you have to get all connection connected down through downpipe and your tank be well looked after. It is an issue now as we travel along the island and see that some of the houses are not gutted or maybe half are partially gutted or some of the tanks are not connected because these things contribute to their well-being. Water conservation is paramount but raising awareness of water hygiene is an equally big concern. And though the self-composting toilets sealed chambers protect the lagoon and borrow pits against E. coli contamination, traditional septic tanks do not. 98% of the system in Nahuti, they are not constructed to the standard of the building code that we have. What happens is the sluts go direct to the underground and then during the high tides, the water comes in and then goes out and it's flushed away and seeped to the lagoon and, and then as well uh, contaminate the underground water. It's amazing that uh, people even allow their kids to swim in those areas. But it's somehow it's happening and it's so sad because it's the poor kids that are affected. You allow them to grow up in that environment, they'll be, you can imagine what they'll, they'll go on and teach as they grow up. PAC is aiming to build a culture of water hygiene awareness from the youngest members of the community upwards. Well, when we look at health-related issues in terms of water, I think we're looking at the children. PAC is also trying to, to get the idea to the very young people that water is very critical in Tuvalu and conservation is there for if they want to survive. I blush dead. I will Results and lessons from Tuvalu will be shared regionally and globally, as will the results from 13 other PAC projects throughout the Pacific. This information will help integrate long-term climate change risks into coastal management, food production, and water resource management. By identifying future risks and turning systemic problems into long-term solutions, PAC is helping people adapt to climate change. <laughs>